There remains one boom, the bush pilot, who will fly anybody, any cargo, anywhere. This is expensive, like everything else in Alaska, but it has done wonders at opening up the land. Alaska is one of the most beautiful places in the world, covering 586,000 square miles. However, all parts of Alaska are not connected. They require the best pilots to get to them. The word bush came from the 19th century and was used to describe wilderness. All the northern villages in Alaska rely on bush planes for their supplies and travel. Bush pilots in Alaska are the best of the best. They need to fly and land in treacherous areas, most of the time landing with no runway. Ben Ellison was Alaska's first bush pilot. He was a North Dakota farm boy who flew during World War I. He moved to Fairbanks, Alaska to be a teacher but soon persuaded some people to help him get a Curtis JN-4. He used the plane to transport people to nearby settlements. He later asked the postal operator for an airmail contract. They accepted in 1924 and he received an Arco DH-4 to run mail to McGrath which was a distance of 280 miles. This was the first airmail in Alaska. The journey from Fairbanks to McGrath would take a dog sled 20 days to complete, but Ellison completed the journey in four hours. On November 9, 1929, he died in Siberia alongside with his mechanic, Earl Borland, while trying to evacuate furs and people from Nanook. Most if not all bush planes are high wing tail draggers. The high wing makes it easier to load and unload the plane rather than the low wing. The high wing also gives the plane greater visibility. Tail draggers have two wheels at the front with a small wheel in the back giving the plane less drag and wing. Bush planes can take off with a broken tail wheel rather than if a plane had a broken nose wheel. Bush planes are also fitted with floats, skis, or tundra tires. Tundra tires are oversized low pressure tires for landing on unprepared surfaces like beaches. Another important characteristic of bush planes are its short takeoff and landing capabilities. Pilots need to be able to land on places that wouldn't normally look like a runway. need an immense amount of skill to land in places in Alaska. They are extremely important to small villages or to get to inaccessible places and are a key part of Alaska. 